In this video, I'm going to show you how to turn this unusable image here into this Unreal World image here using the new AI Augmented Sky and a couple of other layer features in Luminar 4.2. Let's dive right in. Okay, with this image, what we are going to do is the first thing we're going to do is change the sky. And for this one, I'm going to go to Blue Sky 3. So that's the sky replaced quickly and simply. I'm also going to change the horizon position. I'm going to drag it right back so that the clouds are zoomed in and they're a lot closer. Next thing, I'm going to get into the new AI augmented sky and I'm going to load one of my own custom images. And that is this whale. I'm going to click open. That should drop right into the scene. Next, I'm going to scale the whale down just slightly and position them around about there. Quite happy with that. I am going to turn the amount back slightly just so that it takes up some of the background colour. You don't want to go too far with that when you're doing the blends. I am then going to create a new stamped layer. In this new stamped layer, I am going to add another object. And that's because we've stamped the two together, the sky then is able to receive new objects again. So again, I'm going to load a custom image. I'm going to load the birds. I'm going to place object. I'm going to move the birds down to here, just to around there. Scale them down slightly to around about there. That's given us more balance with the image because we're leading in here and going up off there. So that's given us a wee bit more balance with that. So that's that one done. I am then going to pull this amount back so that they fade into the background slightly more. And I'm also going to push the mass refinement and the relight as well. And that will increase the type of fade they have because we don't want them too prominent. We want them in the image, but not too prominent. Possibly pull that back a bit about there. So that's us in a relatively short space of time. We've added two objects to the sky and created an entirely different image from the original image we had. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new image layer. And for this, I'm going to add background fog. The blend for this one is going to be screen. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to layer transform. We just want this at the in the foreground, we don't want it to be a main part of the image. We're just trying to add depth to the image. So I'm going to scale it down to about there, take it off ever so slightly, and that way as well. I'm going to take it up, bring it down there so that I'm scaling it around, and then I'm going to bring it back down to roughly about that angle. Click done. I'm now going to take the opacity back on this layer. To around that, that just gives a slight touch of atmosphere to it. Last thing we're going to do with this image, we're going to give it a slight cinematic look. So, I'm going to go in and add new adjustment layer. In this adjustment layer, I'm going to pull back the blues. Just about there. I am then going to go into the Pro Mode. Adjustable Gradient. And I'm going to bring the exposure down in the top. Set the orientation just to about there. And last but not least, I am going to add a new adjustment layer and I'm going to add a look. And for this look, I'm going to add Camden around the amount of 12. Hopefully you saw how quickly and easily it was to create a brand new Unreal World image using the new AI Augmented Sky in Luminar 4.2. Remember, Explore the software, enjoy the software, and have fun with the software.